Hi everybody, happy Monday to you. Three new senior meteorologist Matt Wintz here with a look at your forecast. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us here on our YouTube channel. We've had some showers that are lingering around mainly our western counties as we're on the outer fringe of a bigger storm system out in the Plain States. Most of us staying dry though and we're warm today. We're talking temps in the low 70s this afternoon with just again a stray shower or two mainly in our western counties. Tonight everything will lift off towards the north so we'll dry out area wide. We'll have partly cloudy skies tonight and only fall back down near 60. That tells you tomorrow for Election Day. Well, it may be a warm day if we're starting near 60 degrees and that it will be. We're still under the strong southwest flow. It'll be windy if you're heading to the polls early tomorrow morning. You'll encounter that wind with temps in the 60s by midday. We're in the mid 70s feeling like summer tomorrow with a gusty wind and even into the afternoon and evening. Look at that. The rain is going to hold off. We're looking at sunshine and a beautiful day. Get out and vote. The weather is not going to stop you tomorrow evening, though. Still warm 70 at 11 o'clock. How about that? Here comes the rain. Rain will move in after midnight tomorrow. Wednesday morning commute will likely feature some rain around, so keep that in mind. May need some extra time on that morning commute, and then it's out of here. We'll start to cool down behind that front, but really, really warm out ahead of it. In fact, record setting warm. I've got us at 79 for a high tomorrow on Election Day. That should beat the old record of 77. If my math is right, set back in 20. 22 just a couple of years ago and in terms of your election day forecast I mentioned the warm temperatures but it will be windy and we'll have lots of sunshine around just incredible and that really beats over the last couple of years we've had some 60s but notice temperatures have not been nearly as warm as what we're dealing with tomorrow pretty warm stuff all right long ranger forecast once we get this front with that Wednesday morning rain through here we'll dry out a little bit another system will take shape and it'll kind of stall out in areas of southern Colorado and New Mexico. This one's pretty incredible because this flow of moisture will come in over the Rockies and the air will cool because there's cooler air on the backside. They're expecting 20 to 30 inches of snow over southern Colorado and New Mexico, areas that don't typically see that heavy of snow. This system will eventually dislodge and it'll come our way. Saturday will feature dry conditions with some increasing clouds. If you're planning out your weekend, looks good. And then Sunday features some rain. Doesn't look too good as that system moves through. Overall, we're watching out for snow because we could certainly get it this time of year. All of it staying in the western U.S. Lots of rain where we need it in the plains. We don't get a lot of it, but we'll get some of it over the next couple days. And then notice the snow, real heavy bullseye here and lots of snow as you get into the Cascades up into the northern Rockies in Canada. Vancouver, place to be. That's where all the Hallmark movies seem to be filled. Well, they're going to be filming some snowy movies here over the next couple of weeks. Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. Nice and warm next two days. Wednesday, we'll start to cool things off. And then by Thursday, we're back into the 50s, 50s and 60s. Look to stick around for the majority of the forecast all the way through your Veterans Day. Just a couple chances of rain every few days. Overall, not too bad as we continue to tiptoe through the month of November. We're back with your forecast on the TV side of things at 4 o'clock. Enjoy your Monday, everybody. We'll see you then.